So I'm at the Marina Mall or the Marina Beach Hotel. Um, I arrived about mm, maybe about three hours ago. I um, quickly checked in, dropped my bags, and then went to get something to eat in the mall next door. Was at the what was it? The Chop Chop. Um, had a look around the hotel, looked at the beach, I mean the, the pool upstairs, can't really see much because it's dark, they've got some um, steam room upstairs, you can see they've decorated every, the, the place with Christmas decorations, um, but I'm now going to do a quick room tour. So, so you've got the door there. And then I think you can control the do not disturb from inside the room. Room 412, the reef, key card entry. So here, if I put the do not disturb on here, it's then here. Please clean my room as well. So when you first enter the room, you've got the wardrobe. Inside the wardrobe, a couple of dressing gowns, ironing board, iron. On this side, you've got some of my things got the safe, some slippers at the bottom, inside the drawer we've got a hair dryer, then we've got the laundry bag and then cleaning list. Let's see if we can look at the prices. Then got a space here to put a suitcase, shoes underneath, and a drawer for bits and pieces. Then got a nice size mirror inside here, tea box. So we've got ginger tea, green tea, English breakfast, Earl Grey tea, cinnamon tea and lemon tea. I assume they're black teas with the flavour. A couple of bottle of waters and then the kettle. The kettle looks like it comes about a plug but actually the base and the electrics comes through, I can't remove this, comes through the worktop somehow so you just need to fill that up and then you can see that it's on. I'm going to turn it off because there's no water in there. Inside here you've got the mini bar. I'm not sure if this is complimentary or not. There's no prices there. So you've got some biscuits, peanuts, sugar, coffee mate, Nescafe, and the usual glasses and mugs. Now into the mini bar. Not much, but Coke, Fanta, and Sprite, and then a fruit flavored drink. These glass bottles, they remind me of the sodas that they have in St. Lucia. Fridge actually could do with a little bit of a clean. There's a, I don't know if you can see that I'm just being a bit pernickety. I can just see some remnants of food in there. And then extra storage again. This room could be used as a connecting room, that's what these doors mean. And then here we're into the, into the bedroom. So we've got two twin beds because my BFF is joining me tomorrow and three bedside cabinets 
So by the first one, they've got the TV uh, remote controller, a light. We've also got light switches here. So the reading light, which is this little light here. The bedside light, which is the lamp, the bathroom, which is there. And then one of these sockets that you can use any type of plug in it. Then we've got some drawers to put your bits and pieces in. To be honest, I never really take my stuff out of the suitcase and unpack. I just live out of the suitcase. Another bedside table in the middle of the beds. And then on this side, you've got a bedside table, a little notepad, pen, the phone, the same lights. So actually this one has the master instead of the bathroom and then has the room bedside reading. There's another plug here behind the sofa. Nice little cute sofa. I like rooms with sofas in it, especially when you're sharing with somebody. Sometimes, you know, you're not able to get two twin beds. There's only one bed and, you know, you just want to sit down, watch some TV, but you're in your clothes that you've been in all day. So it's, for me, I find the sofas, I like to have that sofa there so I don't necessarily go in my bed. I might not want to shout at this point, go in the bed with the clothes that I've been wearing all day or my sweaty body. Nice little size table, you can have your tea on. And there's a work desk. This Dilly Gans fashion is actually in the Merino Mall. I don't know if this is like a catalog. Yeah, it's just like a catalog of some of the items that they sell. Got a fancy desk light. Another phone. Then that's my mobile phone charging. Then you've got the Merino Beach. Okay, in-room dining menu. So, yeah, room service. Then we've got a nice little lamp here. Again, with the desk, we've got drawers. Oh. And conveniently, they've got they've put in the direction of Mecca. Sometimes in these rooms, they might put a um, an arrow on the ceiling, but they've put it inside the drawer. And then we've got another Merino beach book in here. Okay, and that's just another notebook memos. And then a nice little comfy chair on wheels, desk chair. Here we've got the balcony. Wow. I might just show you the view tomorrow morning because it's dark outside and you won't be able to pick up any of the visibility. You won't be able to pick up anything. Got some nice artwork on the wall, which matches the decor. I think they've just chosen this because it matches the color theme of the room with the beige and the yellows and the orange. Same picture over here. Got quite a large size TV. I don't know what size it is, so I'm not going to guess. They then got a salon menu here so for haircuts dyeing of gray hair perming smoothing and relaxing keratin treatments then on the other side we've got kind of skincare treatments then got the spa menu I did pop by the spa. I didn't actually use anything. I just went at the reception and looked at the spa menu. It smells delightful in there and it looks like it would be quite a tranquil experience. Obviously, I don't know because I've not had a massage there, but I feel like the ambiance does really add to the experience. 
and then they've got this welcome to Marina Beach which just goes over some of the many restaurants guest services hotel safety I've also got the controls to the AC here I'm gonna turn it off Sounds like it's still on. Okay, it's off now. Now into the bathroom. Full size bathtub with the shower mixer to wash your hair with. And then plenty of space here for your toiletries or whatnot. There's also a line across the room. I like this because sometimes, you know, You've gone to the pool or you've and you've rinsed your um swimwear or even you know you might have washed your underwear you've got a place to kind of hang it up and let it air out and dry and you've got some hooks to hang up something i don't know the dressing gowns bath mat and then we've got two towels two hand towels and two face cloths They've got a bin and a scale underneath there. Two glasses, however, they've missed putting the coaster underneath one of the glasses. Tissue box, I think. Important to say about that. And then you've got some amenities, so toothbrush and toothpaste, shaving kit, shower caps, vanity kit body lotion and a body soap. This mirror, you can see this, attach that to turn the lights on. Cool. Then here we've got the walking shower. Got a rain shower. And the handheld shower bit. A few toiletries here. So shower gel, conditioner and shampoo. They've then put some instructions on how to use it. Maybe people struggle with the two knobs. There's also a nice little toilet cubicle. With a phone inside just in case and then the bin. Toilet paper and sanitary bag and spare toilet roll. Last thing to show you is how to control these blinds. You know, you might not, if you're in the room by yourself, you know, you might not care whether this is where well, you probably don't care if this is open or not if you're sharing with somebody you know even if they are your loved one you might want to use the toilet in peace you might not necessarily want them watching you while you're on the toilet so i'm assuming this is i've not used this so let's just press the close button okay so it's, you have to hold it down does then uh, okay so if you press the hold it keeps it going so you don't have to hold on to it I've just noticed this hole here I don't know what that is for if there was something there and then they've just sealed it up but I've just noticed that also just noticed the crack in the bathroom tiles here looks like that's about to come off not sure if this is getting picked up in the lighting well but other than that overall it's a I'm here by myself so I'm just gonna let this go up I 
Overall, it's a really nice room. Can't complain, good size, especially for two people. Overall, pretty clean. And I think I'm now going to shower, make myself a cup of tea and go to bed. Good night.